Bonjour. In this video, we are going to talk about the impersonal pronoun il, as well as impersonal verbs and structures. If I say il pleut, it is raining, who is performing the action of raining? No one. The pronoun il, it, does not correspond to any specific object. Some verbs or verbal structures are indeed only conjugated at the third person singular with the pronoun il. It is the case of verbs or verbal structures that refer to weather and time. For instance, pleuvoir to rain, neiger to snow. Structures with faire such as il fait chaud, it is hot, il fait froid, it is cold, il fait ensoleillé, it is sunny, or with être. For example, il est deux heures, it is two o'clock. Impersonal verbs can be conjugated at all tenses and moods, affirmative or negative form. The verb falloir is the only verb that does not refer to weather that exists only at the third person singular. Il faut at the present indicative. It means it is necessary, one must, has to. Note that at the negative form, il ne faut pas means it is necessary not to. Not, it is not necessary. As you can see, like other impersonal verbs, falloir can be conjugated at all tenses and moods, affirmative or negative form. For instance, il faudrait que tu étudies, it would be necessary that you study, or you should study. Il fallait qu'il reste chez lui, he had to stay home. Il ne faut pas qu'il vienne, they must not come. Falloir can be used with an indirect object pronoun, which refers to the person to whom it is necessary. For instance, Il me faut étudier. I have to study. Il nous fallait du pain. We needed bread. On the other hand, the direct object, or complement of the impersonal verb to be more accurate, indicates what is necessary. For instance, Il m'a fallu une heure pour faire l'exercice. It took me an hour to do the exercise. The impersonal structure, il y a, means there is or there are. Note that it is always singular in French even when it is followed by a plural phrase. For instance, il y a des étudiantes dans la classe. There are some students in the classroom. Be careful, do not mistake il y a for il a which means he has. Once again, ilia can be conjugated at all tenses, moods, affirmative or negative form. For example, il n'y a pas d'école dans le village. There is no school in the village. Il y a eu un accident. There has been an accident. There are other impersonal structures when the verb are sometimes used impersonally but can refer to real people objects and abstract concepts in other situations. For instance, il s'agit de, it concerns, il paraît, il semble que, it seems that, il vaut mieux que, it is better that, il se peut que, it is possible that, il arrive que, it happens that, il est followed by an adjective, il est possible que, it is possible that, il est facile de, it is easy to. Of course, there are many other impersonal structures that are useful to express a reasoning on your own ID. Au revoir. Created using Powtoon.